Hello guys and welcome to the next in my series on Minecraft logic gates and redstone tutorials and circuitry and all that kind of stuff. Um, in this episode we are going to be looking at the AND gate which, uh, which is quite a handy little gate. I've got a couple here to show you and uh, the AND gate, I'll show you the AND gate, the NAND gate which like we said earlier is just the inverted version and uh, I'll show you a little demo of it down here. Um, just like to say thanks to everyone that subscribed so far. Um, really means a lot. I really appreciate it. Um, like I said before, it kind of uh, lets me know that what I'm doing isn't in vain, and at least I'm helping some people out, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So thanks a lot for that. Really, uh, really appreciate that. And onto the tutorial. Um, so I'll show you the AND gate. We've got a loud and silent plus the NAND gate. Um, basically, all this is is a gate that will allow two inputs or more, it could, could have more, um, that both have to be in the on position for you to get the outcome. So in this particular version we've got a um, redstone lamp here um, and what we want to do is just that that is our target to have it powered. So by turning that one on it has no effect, you can see there nothing's happened. And by turning this one on Although the piston's moving, there's, we haven't got our desired outcome, which is the, the light. So it's not working. What we need is both on together. Both have to be true. Both have to be one um, to uh, to get the desired outcome. And this is a pretty simple one. How it works is the uh, the right hand switch here. Uh, doesn't really matter, but this right hand switch is connected to a piston, which has a block in front of it, which, when pressed, causes the piston to go out. So that's all that part of the circuit does. There's nothing else apart from that. And the other side of the circuit, uh, as you can see, you've got a repeater hooked up, and that's hooked up to this block. So when you turn that on, it will turn the repeater on. Uh, when we use them both together, it causes the output by um, powering this block. And because we've got a repeater here, a normal redstone wire won't work. I can show you here. It won't, a redstone wire won't work. It must be a repeater that's, uh, that's here, because that will force the current through through this block and onto the uh, the output and that's how an AND gate works so as long as one of the uh, one of the two uh, sorry as long as both the conditions are true you will get the output like so um, and that's the loud version that's uh, what I called it the loud one here um, because you've got the piston so you might use an AND gate in a few things um, but it's a bit annoying to hear that piston. So there's also a silent version. There's there's quite a few of these sort of different different ways of doing it. Um, but this one, exactly the same. Both have to be on to get the output, which is the redstone lamp there. You can see that working. And how that works is the uh, when these when these are, are down, when these are on, powers the block, which powers the redstone. Uh, this redstone, although it doesn't look like it. Um, just imagine that it's connected because that, that's what it's doing. It's connecting these two blocks here together. Uh, when they are on, it will turn off the redstone lamp here, and in the same way this one will. Um, as long as one of these is on, uh, sorry, as long as both these are on, it will turn off both redstone lamps, which will turn off this block in the middle, which will turn on this redstone lamp, which will uh, give give output. Um, if I turn one off, I'll show you that. In this case, because that redstone lamp is still on, and because these are connected together, as long as one of these two circuits are are, uh, are on, uh, sorry, are off, these redstone lamps are going to stay on. And as long as one of those redstone lamps is on, it's going to take dominance over this middle bit here and keep that uh, lighted, which will keep this one off, which will keep the output off, obviously. So uh, as long as they're both on, we will get our output like that. Um, so I'll just let you have a look at that in case you were, if you want to pause the video and uh, and get an understanding of how it works. Uh, but it's, it's fairly easy. Um, to be honest, the uh, the piston one's a bit simpler to explain, but um, but like you can see, this works as well. Uh, and if you wanted to invert these, I mean, the, the easiest way would be to uh, knock out this one right here. So take that lamp out, so that it connected straight directly to the middle one and it should be powered by default. So yeah, when when both are off, uh, sorry, when both uh, yeah both inputs are off, the output is on, and that's just because we remove that remove that signal there. So if we turn them both off, 
the output is off, um, but if one's on, the output will sorry, the output will remain the same. So quite quite an easy one that. Um, I mean, the simplest way to invert is either to put a redstone light on the back, the back of the uh, block that's, that's, um, that has a switch on it, or whatever, or um, it's to introduce a block further down. Like I'll show you here. If we put another block further down here, um, let's just return that to where it was, like so. Um, power that. Put that on there. Put that on there, and put that there. Um, the easiest way is just to invert, invert somewhere in the middle, um, like so, and that will always give you the uh, the other way. So it's like. Uh, if, if you've seen my previous video, it's like having the AND gate and then just putting a bolting a, a NOT gate onto the end of it like I've done there. So you've got the AND gate there, um, but I've just put a, a NOT gate in the middle there. So that will cause it to be inverted like so. Uh, or maybe not. No, I'm not sure why that's not working. Oh, that's why. There we go. That is that's working now. And finally, just to uh, show uh, uh, this in in use, um, we've got a again. Imagine this as a house. We've got a door. We need to get through it. You know the drill. Um, we've got two two inputs here. So this switch doesn't do anything. This redstone, uh, sorry, this this uh, pressure plate doesn't do anything on its own. Same as the switch doesn't. What we need to do is as you know with an AND gate both inputs need to be on for the door to work um, as long as that's on and as long as you're standing on this the door will open as simple as that so they won't work on their own we need to have them both on to work so kind of like a security thing this this just an example um, and how this works is basically a copy of that AND gate just that section it's exactly the same setup only it's not inverted um, We've got the lever here hooked up to the right hand side which goes to this torch here. And we've got the pressure plate as you can see hooked up to the left hand side which goes to this torch here. As long as both of these blocks, the left hand and the right hand side, are receiving power it will turn off these torches. So let's turn that one on, you can see it goes off. And let's just force this one on by default. And you can see that one's forced on. Turns off this light, as long as these are both on, turns off this light turns off the uh, redstone wire in the middle, allows this torch to be powered and this goes to our output and goes to our door and uh, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, if you wanted to invert it, I don't know why you want to leave the, the door open but if you wanted to invert it, um, one way of doing it is, like I said before, just throwing in a, a gate like so and as I said in one of my videos before, the, uh, the redstone wiring needs to go directly to the block um, you can put it over the top like so. As long as it goes over the top, it will be powering this block, so that's fine. Um, and by default, when both are powered, I don't know why, why you'd want this, but just to uh, just for the sake of completeness, um, as long as both of these are powered, the door will be open. So uh, that's just uh, just to show you the inverted version, and uh, not that you ever want to use it. Okay, so um. So that pretty much sums it up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please feel free to leave a uh, a like or a comment. Or um, if you're liking the series, please subscribe. Um, it's always handy. Always nice to know that my uh, that these videos aren't really done in vain. Um, I hope that this was fairly clear. Um, if there's any trouble with it, or uh, or I went over something too quickly, or I just didn't explain it well enough, which is uh, which is quite possible. Um, please let me know and I'll, I'll throw up another video and, and try and explain it a bit more clearer. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Um, as I said before, thanks very much for your subscriptions and, uh, and your comments. Uh, I do read them all, so, uh, so keep them coming in. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Cheers guys.